Hi, I'm Vijay Kalyanchar from MB100 and we are going to discuss 20 questions of quantitative aptitude which were asked in SNAP2021 all in the same slot. Here is the first one. Please try to solve it yourself first. 7, 26, 123 and 724. What should be the next number is an actual SNAP question. Please do tell me. When I took the test, I thought that this is close to 8, this is close to 27, this is close to 125, this is close to 729. So the next number had to be close to a cube. And here I marked this as my answer because this is very, very close to 17 cube. Isn't that? 17 cube is 4, 9, 1, 3. But, but my method was incorrect though i got the right answer you would be amazed to know that i got the right answer but my method was incorrect so what is the correct method you know what the series was the series was factorial 3 plus 1 is how much 7 factorial 4 plus 2 24 plus 2 26 Factorial 5, now you have got it. Factorial 5 plus 3, so 120 plus 3, 123. Okay, factorial 6 plus 4, 724. And the next would be, of course, factorial 7 plus 5. Factorial 7 is 120 into 7, or rather 720 into 7, so 5040 plus 5, that is 5045. And hence, this was the answer. So, here I had got lucky in the actual examination. So now you know the answer as well as the logic. So please keep factorial of a number in mind while solving series questions. All right. Of course, the answer is C. Okay. What about this question? It's a very good question on time and work. Ram and Lakhan. Ram, Lakhan. What else you want? Together can complete a work in 48 days. Efficiency of Lakhan is more than that of Ram. If Ram started the work and left the work after completing exactly half of it and Lakhan completed another half, okay, then the work was completed in 108 days. For how many days did Ram work? It's a very good question. I think this question is good enough to appear in CAT as well. And what makes this question special? The options. In the actual examination also, I had solved this question using options only. All right, would you also try that? Just pause the video and try to get the answer yourself first. Okay, then you can, of course, always unpause the video and see the solution. All right, I'm, um, of course, not interested in uh, putting equations and then uh, getting the value of x, y, whatever. All right, so let's assume this to be the answer. So if this is the answer, if Ram took 60 days, total number of days taken by them was 108. So, Lakhan must have taken 48 days then. Alright, but please keep one thing in mind. That Lakhan is more efficient and Lakhan and Ram together had completed the work in 48 days. So, if Ram and Lakhan, both of them had worked together to finish the work in 48 days, I'm sure Lakhan would have definitely finished more than half the work in 48 days. So he will certainly be taking less than 48 days to do half the work. So this cannot be my answer. And there is one ridiculous option that is, and that is how it was there in the examination also 120. When the total number of days was 108, number of days taken by Ram plus number of days taken by Lakhan, then how can this answer be 120? Okay, now let's assume the answer to be 90. Ram had taken 90 days. It means Lakhan would have taken 18 days. If Lakhan would have taken 18 days to do half the work, so he's capable of finishing the complete work in 36 days, then why on earth would he take 48 days along with Ram to finish the work? So even this cannot be my answer. So this is not my answer. This is not my answer. This is a stupid option. So this is my answer. All right. Any doubt? Any doubt? No doubt. Okay, find the missing number in the given matrix. Matrix reloaded. Are you the one to do it? Okay, look here. 9, 25, 64. Okay, 
So first of all, again, pause the video and do it. I'm not going to slow down if you want to do it yourself. And that is how it should be also. So this is 3 square. This is 5 square. And 5 plus 3, 8. This is 8 square. Similarly, this is 2 square. This is 3 square. 3 plus 2, 5. This is 5 square. 6 square. 7 square. So this has to be 13 square. That's your answer. Out. Okay. All right. B. Now this is this question. Many people, especially those people who haven't done much of maths, okay, somehow believe that no, this is mathematical and they shouldn't do it. Okay. All right. Here the idea is to get function of 1 into g of 1 raised to the power 10. Function of x is x square plus 2. So function of 1 would be 1 square plus 2 and that is 3. Now g of 1 would be what? g of x is 2x plus 5. So g of 1 would be 2 into 1 plus 5. That is 7. So function of 1 into g of 1 would be how much? It would be 21. So your answer has to be 21 raised to the power 10. So this is your answer. Okay. Please do not ever miss out on such opportunities. All right. Of course, the answer is C. Okay, many of you, the moment you see something like probability, you just run away. Please do not. Okay, this is a simple question. 30 tickets are numbered 1 to 30. What is the probability that the number on a ticket picked is a multiple of 2 or 5? How many multiples of 2s are there in the first 30 numbers? 15. And how many multiples of 5s are there? Tell me and tell me fast. How many multiples of 5s are there? 6. Isn't that? And how many numbers are there that are multiples of 5 as well as 2? That is multiple of 10. 3 of the first 30 numbers, there are 3 numbers that are multiples of 5 as well as 2. Okay, so multiple of 10, 3. So total number of numbers that are multiple of either 2 or 5 would be 15 plus 6, 21 minus 3, 18. Of the first 30 natural numbers, there are 18 numbers, exactly 18 numbers that are a multiple of 2 or 5. This 3 gets counted here as well as here, which is why we are subtracting it. All right. So there are 18 out of 30 numbers that are multiple of either 2 or 5. So your answer has got to be when you pick any ticket randomly, the required probability would be 18 divided by 30. So 3 by 5. That's the answer. It's as simple as that. Okay, all these are actual snap questions of snap to zero to one. Okay, now again, many people run away the moment they see any application of log. Okay, look, log of x minus five plus log of twice of log of five is log of two x plus one. So try to combine these two terms so that we can cancel out log. Okay, can we write it as log of x minus five plus log of 5 square this 2 will come here as a power right now log of a plus log of b is log of a b so this is equal to how much 25 into x minus 5 and this is equal to now cancel out log this is equal to I mean, I, I didn't put log here. Okay, so 25 into x minus 5 is equal to 2x plus 1. So you can easily solve it 25x and 2x, 23x. Okay, 23x is uh, 125 plus 1, 126. So this is your answer. Most of the questions that appear in SNAP are as simple as this. Of course, there would be three to four questions which would have the potential to stump you, of course. As is the case with any edition of SNAP. Alright, so here your answer is B. Any doubt? Okay. Question number 7. Fruit seller sells pears and guavas. I've been handling all these questions since my childhood in a particular way. A fruit seller sells pears and guavas. All fruits of a particular type are identical. 7 pears weigh 1 kg and 10 guavas weigh 1 kg. Alright. Initially, he had 164 fruits weighing 20 kgs. That's okay. A person purchased 48 fruits weighing 6 kgs. 
He purchased 48 fruits weighing 6 kgs. How many guavas are left with the fruit seller? Okay, how many guavas are left with the fruit seller? Alright, he initially had 164 fruits and 20 kgs. 48 fruits are gone now. 6 kgs are gone. So he's left with 116 fruits. 116 fruits weighing how many kgs? 14 kgs. And we are being asked how many guavas is he left with? Okay. Alright. And total number of fruits left with him is 116. So if he's left with 80 guavas, how many peers would be there? Number of peers would be 36. Okay. Guavas, uh, while 10 guavas weigh 1 kg. So this will weigh 8 kgs. And here, this will be 36 by 7, so it would be a fraction, okay? So this cannot be my answer. If number of guavas is 64, okay, number of peers would be how many? 36 plus 16, 52. Okay, this is not divisible by 10. This is not divisible by 7, so anyway, we do not have to consider this, okay? If that is 60, if number of guavas is 60, Number of peers would be 56 because total number of fruits is 116. This would be how many kgs? 6 kgs. And this would be how many kgs? 56 by 7, 8. 8 plus 6, 14. Okay, so this is my answer. I do not have to get into equations and all that. At least 5 to 6 snap questions can be easily solved using the options. Believe you me. Believe you me. All right. Of course, answer C. Now, yeah, what is there to be done in this question? But okay, let, let's do it. Four men and five women can complete a walk in 10 days. We all know that's just one way of 40 M plus 50 W. That is equivalent to six men and six women take seven days to complete the work. Okay. 42 M plus 42 women. All right. So 40 M, 40, so 2 M is equal to 50 minus 42, 8 women. So one man here, gender bias is equal to 4 women. All right. Okay. In how many days can 2 men and 7 women complete the same work? So again, 2 men is then 8 women, 8 plus 7, 15 women. So in how many days 15 women can complete the work? And this is given 4 men. So 4 into 4, uh, 16 women it becomes plus 5. So 21 women can finish it in 10 days. 21 can finish it in 10 days. So in how many days can 15 finish it? So your answer becomes 21 into 10 divided by 15. That is 14. So 14 is your answer. Any doubt? Any doubt? Okay. And mind you, this none of these is very typical of snap questions. They put a lot of none of these. Okay. All right. This should not make you calculate the answer or your method again and again. Do not redo the questions because of getting none of these. Okay. All right. Of course, answer is C. Again, age old problem. A circular track of width 4 meter has outer circumference 132 meter. Yeah, let's do it. 2 into 22 by 7 into R is, let the outer radius be R, okay, is 132. So 44 into 3, 132. So R is 21. Okay. So external radius, external radius is 21 and the circular track is of width 4 meter. It's like this. Needless to say that my handwriting is very poor. This is 4. Okay. So the external radius is. External radius is 21. Internal would be 17. Okay. Sorry, not 14. 17. So this path, what would be the area? It would be pi into 21 square minus pi into 17 square. So take pi common, 21 square minus 17 square is 21 plus 17, 30 into 21 minus 17, 4. 
okay this is the area and this you have to uh, what do you have to do you have to do the leveling of the track at 2.5 per square meter yeah into 5 by 2 okay this will give you the answer so please do calculate and get the answer of course put the value of uh, pi as 22 by 7 or whatever you want i mean not whatever you want to put or 3.14 any doubt anyone okay of course option a is the answer let's move to the next one the sum of internal angles of a polygon is 2700 degree how many sides does the polygon have okay all right we all know 2n minus 4 into 90 degree gives you the sum of all the internal angles so let's cut it short 2n minus 4 is 30 2n minus 4 is 30 so 2n is 34 and n is 70 gone okay all right so of course answer is c hmm another question and here also you have to use the options there are 10 boxes each box has 10 mannequins so how many mannequins are there then 100 each mannequin has 10 bags by its sides so how many bags 1000 okay each bag has 10 paper cats okay so how many paper cats are there let's say pc how many pcs paper cats are there 10000 okay and each cat has 10 paper kittens by its side so how many paper kittens 1 lakh oh god a paper cat if a mannequin if a mannequin a paper cat and a paper kitten have two four and four legs okay two not this one four and four so four lakh forty thousand and two hundred four lakh forty thousand and two hundred should be above four lakhs so this cannot be the answer this cannot be the answer oh and mind you please this is 20 and not 200 even this is not the answer the answer is d none of these but in the actual examination if you start doing this question and especially when you get the answer is none of these you will tell yourself come on let's do it again i've made some mistake okay so please do not discriminate against none of these options especially especially while writing the snap okay all right d question number 12 just just pause the video and give it a try 3 31 131 351 and 739 what's the answer what's the answer do it and do it fast this time also all these terms they're very close to cubes like this is 125 plus 6 this is 27 plus 4 this is 1 plus 2 okay this is 343 plus 8 343 is 7 cube and this is 9 cube plus 10 so 1 1 cube 3 cube 5 cube 7 cube 9 cube next would be sorry not 13 11 cube 2 4 6 8 10 plus 12 that's your answer okay this of course is not the answer because uh, the last digit has to be 3 11 cube is 1331 1 plus 12 okay 1343 this is your answer incidentally d again all right <laughs> what sort of question is this a person feeds cattle every six days and cleans the stable every 10 days okay if he fed the cattle and cleaned the stable on a particular day, after how many days will he do both the activities again? Just take LCM of 10 and 6, that is 30. But here also they have given you none of these as one of the options and you know the purpose. Please, do not fall prey to it. Okay, alright. C, of course. Now there can be many ways of uh, doing this question. So first of all, pause the video and read the question, okay? A person deposited 25,000 in a bank at a certain rate of interest. Six months later, he deposited 20,000 more. But the rate of interest was three times. Interesting. Okay. 
uh, the previous rate. At the end of the year, he received an interest of 2200. All right. So 25,000 for the entire year, but 20,000 for only six months. So 20,000 for six months is equivalent to 10,000 for the entire year. So 25,000 here and 10,000 here. Okay, but here, if the rate of interest is 1, here the rate of interest is 3. So that way, this is equivalent to 30,000. All right, so what is the ratio? 5 is to 6. This much of interest. So the interest can be divided like this in the ratio 5 is to 6. So if you earn a total of 2200, okay, so divide 2200 in the ratio 5 is to 6. So this is 1000 and this is 1200. So 1,000 as percentage of 25,000 is 4. 1,000 is 4% 4 of 25,000. So this is your answer. And this is how you should be able to do it in the examination also. You don't have to get into calculations. Those boring calculations. Okay. Any doubt? All these are actual snap questions with the actual options. Please keep that in mind. And we have got all these questions from you people. Make it count. All right, well, another question on probability. The probability of A being selected is 3 by 5, while that of B being selected is 4 by 5. What is the probability that at least one of them gets selected? Now, only two things are possible. Either at least one of them will get selected, at least one or none. So some of the probabilities of these two events would always be one. The probability of this plus probability of this will always be one. And why? Because these are mutually exhaustive events. They exhaust all the possible cases that are possible. None or at least one. Can there be a third case? No. All right. It's easy for us to calculate none. The probability of A being selected is 3 by 5. So what is the probability of A being rejected? That is 2 by 5. The probability of B being selected is 4 by 5. So what is the probability of B being rejected? That is 1 by 5. So 2 by 5 into 1 by 5, that is 2 by 25, is the probability of both being rejected. So what will be the probability of at least one of them being selected? 1 minus 2 by 25, that is 23 by 25. So this is your answer. That is it. All right. Okay. Of course, B. In 2010, Naval was three times as old as his sister, Shikha. Okay, so in 2010, if Naval was 3x, Shikha was x. Okay. In 2021, he was eight years older than his sister. Now, this is redundant. If you are n years older to someone, no matter which year it is, the age difference never changes. Okay, so in 2010 also, Naval must have been 8 years older than his sister. So 3x, if this is 3x and this is x and the difference is 8, it means this is 12 and this is 4. So in 2010, Shikha was 4 years of age. So she must have been born in year 2006. Yes, a mark for this. What else you want? All right. Of course, C. Now, question number 17. You don't have to get into equations and all that for doing such questions. So first of all, pause the video, please, and try to do it yourself. And then ask yourself if you got the answer in an optimal manner. Look at the speeds. 4, 6, 2. Take an LCM of all this. 4, 6, 2. T take whatever. Okay. So the LCM of 2, 4, and 6 would be what? 12. All right. So let's take the total distance as 12 kilometer. Even if you take 24, that doesn't make a difference. If you take 1 also, that does not make any difference, right? But if we take the distance as 12, it makes the task slightly easier for us, OK? All right. So if total distance is 12, now we need to calculate total time taken. Okay, a person covers half the journey at the speed of 4 km per hour. So half of 12 would be what? 6. So in these 6 kilometers, he will take 6 by 4. That is 1 and a half hours. 
one fourth at the speed of six. What is this? Uh, what is the one fourth of 12? That is three. Three at the speed of six. So three by six is 0 0.5. Okay. So of 12 kilometers, you have already traveled nine and the remaining journey at speed of two kilometer per hour. So how much have you left with three kilometers? That at two, this will take you another one and a half hours. So total time taken, three and a half. Total distance, 12. So your average speed would be 12 divided by 3.5, that is 24 by seven. So this is not your answer. Answer will not be three. It would be more than three. It cannot be four and a half. It would be none of these. Okay, so again, your favorite option, none of these. But do not start doing it again, only because the answer is none of these. All right, 24 by seven is your answer. And why have they given you three as one of the options? Because many people believe four, six, and two. Four, six, 12, four and six, 10, plus two, 12, divided by, divided by, for whatever reason, they will divide it by four or three and they will keep getting stupid up answers. All right, do not do that. Okay, let's move to the next question. An article is sold at a profit of 8% after three successive discounts, 3%, 7%, and 12%. Okay, it is sold at a profit of 8%. Okay, so if the article was worth 100, it is so sold at 108 after three successive discounts of 3%, 7%, and 12%. Find the approximate profit percentage if the article was sold after only two successive discounts of 3 and 7. It means these two are done but this is not done. All right, keep one thing in mind. After giving a discount of 12%, you are making a profit of 8%. Okay, so the originally, originally, this 108 before the discount of 12 must have been above 120. Do not commit this blunder of marking your answer as 20. Try to understand what I'm trying to tell you. You, uh, let's say you have 100. You reduce it by 12%, you get 88. But now, when you push 88 back to 100, you are not increasing it by 12%, you have to increase it by more than 12%, okay? So here, if this is 108, after a discount of 12%, to get back to the same level, you need to increase it by more than 12%, actually more than 13%, all right? So the answer certainly would be above 20 and all the options are either 20 or below it. So your answer is again none of these. Many people, many people, this is a trap. This 20% is a trap. This 20% is a trap. This is a good question. Okay, please do not get trapped. I will give you another example. If you reduce something by 20%, let's say 100 becomes 80. To get back to the same level, you need to increase it by 25% and not 20%. So if you reduce something by 12% to get back to the same level, you need to give it a push of more than 12%. So 8% profit already there if you increase it by further 12%. Okay, by more than 12%, uh, of course, the overall effect would be of more than 20% at any cost. So none of these, again, your favorite option. Any doubt? Okay, D, of course. Question number 19, yeah. A person goes 35 meter west, okay. This is 35. And 15 meter north, let's, let's not read all this. 35 meter west and 15 meter east, okay. So what is the net displacement? 20 meter in this direction, okay? Similarly, 15 meter north and six meter north, that is how we should do it, okay? So overall, 15 plus six, 21. So your answer is 20 square plus 21 square, 21 square is 441 and 400, 841, I'm sure you all know that this is 29 square, so this is your answer, all right? Okay. The last one, when a new person whose weight is 50 kg joins a group of some persons, the average weight of the group increases by one kg. 
If another person of weight 50 kg also joins the group, the new average weight is increased by one and a half kg from the original average weight. What is the initial average weight of the group? I've decided to do it in a different way than how most of the people do it. Okay. And which one is the most stupid option here? Most stupid option, MSO. This is the most stupid option. Shall I tell you why? There are two people who join it one by one. Both, both of them individually weigh 50 kgs and every time they increase the average weight. So even the last person who weighs 50 kgs, when he joins, okay, the average weight increases by half a kg. Getting it? So this person would have given half a kg to at least two people because there were at least two people before him. I'll tell you again, when the last person joined, before he joined, there were at least two people. And this person ended up, ended up pushing the average up by half a kg. So he must have given half a kg to each one of these two individuals who were already there. So after giving, even if there were just two people, he will stop at 49 and this 49 is after an increase of after an increase of one and a half kgs okay so even in this simple case the average weight cannot be of more than 47 and a half kgs so these two this is very stupid this also is a stupid option so answer is either 47 or none of these none of these okay i do not know why do they put these many none of these okay typical snap feature okay so please keep keep this in mind. 49 or 48 can never be the answer. Now another way of looking at this and that is where I'll leave this session. When the first person joins it, let's say that there were n people in the group initially. Okay, when the first person who weighs 50 kgs joins it, the average weight goes up by 1 kg. So he gives 1 kg to everyone each one of these n individuals, okay? And then after, so how much is he left with? He would himself be left with the average weight, 50 minus n, okay? Similarly, similarly, now when the next person joins in, he gives half a kg to n plus one people. So 50 minus n plus one by two is the weight now. And what is the difference between these two? What is the difference between these two? When the last person joins it, he pushes the average weight, the initial average weight by one and a half. Okay. So, but from this stage, he pushes the weight up by half a kg. Isn't that? So, we can easily say that 50 minus n plus 1 by 2 minus 50 minus n okay is half this will give you the answer all right so that is where i would stop it and the answer of course is a 47 kgs and please do join our telegram group and do not forget to like this video share this video and subscribe to mb100 all the best